Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting segment of the Butler Training Academy. Uh, we have worked on and talked about our first touch a lot. Um, particularly when we're receiving the ball, we talk about receiving open. Well, that's always with passes on the ground, and, and we'll go over that. But we are going to go over um, controlling the ball out of the air. There's a couple of different ways to do it, and we've gotten pretty good at winning the ball in the air, but now we've got to learn how to... Our next step is controlling that touch when we do win it out of the air. So we're going to do something called the pancake, which is a way to trap the ball. We're also going to do something called the smother. We're going to show you how to do it in here. We're also going to show how, with help, uh, this this part is, is with help, with somebody throwing you ball. But the other way is where you just throw it to yourself. So um, work on this. This is going to help tremendously. Our mids, our backs, our forwards, winning the ball out of the air with control so we can do something with the ball. The first thing we're going to do is our normal receive open. Receive open means that the ball is coming to my back foot and my body's opening up with particularly which direction I want to go with the ball. So we're going to receive open here. Ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Let's receive open again. Good. She's ready to go. She received open, turned her body, ready to go. The next thing we're going to work on is throwing the ball to each other and we're going to do something called the pancake. All right. This is getting the ball and, and there's different kinds of stopping the ball in there because sometimes it bounces sometimes it doesn't it depends on uh, where you're out on the field where the ball is at but the first one is a pancake and this is knocking the ball out of the air with control with no bounce okay watch particular um she's going to be putting her laces down and then kind of bring her foot and drop it into the last second um we'll we'll do a zoom in on this a little bit but let's let's practice different sides of the feet. Ready? Good. See the ball stopping right in front of her. Let's do a little bit higher throw. Still the same thing. She's ready to go with the ball. Okay? We'll do one more really high as if it was our punt. Right there. Right there. The ball is right there every time. She's ready to do something with the ball. Okay? The next one we're going to move on to is we're going to do the smother and this one is going to bounce and she's going to it's going to bounce and as it bounces she's going to be stopping the ball and if you do it correctly it's going to spin particularly right where you want it to about like that okay this gives you a big advantage when you're trying to control the ball a lot of times we're going in hard to win the ball and we're hitting it with our knee it's going somewhere we can't control it all right so this one is actually going to bounce Okay. This one's called the smother because she's using the ground and then her body to smother it. Okay. There we go. A little bit out of control. Going. Smother. Different. Both insides of her feet. Both feet. You can do it with the outside of your feet. Smother. She's ready to go. She's using. It is bouncing. We'll zoom in on this. Uh, in the close-up a little bit, but the ball is, is, is she's, she's, it's bouncing first and she's getting her foot and smothering it with whichever direction she's going with it. So if we're in the middle of the field, we control this ball, we get to keep it. All right, again, outside of the foot. Oh, you got a blooper. Here we go. Outside of the foot. Good, smother. And as we practice this, we're trying to keep it in that ball. And that's why we're practicing. It's not going to be perfect every time, but this is why we practice. Good. Perfect one. Okay, smother it again. Good. Riding control. This isn't about being fast or, or super physical. This is about control, and this is what we want when we're talking about keeping the ball. Nope. Okay, again. Smother. Okay, here we go, a little bit closer view. We're gonna start with the pancake and move to the smother. So the pancake has no bounce. The smother, we're using the bounce, but controlling it. So here we go. Pancake, it's dropping right in front of her. You notice her foot, it's tight at first. The toe has to come up and then she's dropping her foot down to like cradle the ball. It's 
right in front of her. Lace is there, but notice the toe is coming up, almost bent straight up. It's right in front of her, all right? So she can do something with it. Good. Eyes on the ball. One more and cake. Good. First touch, ready to move. All right, we're gonna go on to the smother, okay? This one again, uh, when you're using the smother, it's a bounce, and the smother gives you a few more options than pancake because you can smother the outside of your foot with the inside of both your feet, and, and you're using the bounce as momentum, okay? And again, we're trying to look for a good backspin on this. And here we go with the smother. We're trying to keep it in this little box uh, as we would on the field. It gets much further than this, and we're not gonna be able to control it. Good. Both feet inside of the feet, outside of the foot, still control in our box. Still be able to do whatever we need with the ball. Good control. So notice the spin. She does exactly right. The spin's right there. She doesn't even hardly have to step to the ball. It's ready to go. Technique beats speed and strength any day. And this is next level stuff for us. This is stuff we can work on at home with help. And we're going to show you how to do it uh, by yourself as well. One more. Good. We'll get one more. Smother. Oh, we'll try again. Well, that's why we practice. One more smother. Good. Good. Now we're going to do show you how to do it. Uh, by yourself. Okay, here we go again. Uh, we're going to do the pancake and smother, but we're going to do it um, as you'd be doing it at, by yourself. Um, if you've got cones, if not, find you a small spot in your yard, somebody else's yard, grandma's yard, and throw it to yourself and focus on what you're doing. She, she's going to go with the pancake first, which is knocking the ball out of the air without the bounce, and again, the smother, uh, a little bit more options, and we're going to use uh, the bounce first. All right, so watch your foot. It's going to come up, okay? Her foot is pointing up. Her, your toe has to come up to be able to control this, but you're not hitting it off your toe, okay? This is coming to your laces, and your laces, you can't be super tight. It's almost like a cradle. So as soon as it gets there, you're dropping your foot, okay? And you're, you're kind of cradling that to the ground. All right, and here she goes, pancake. Front, try to make it where it doesn't bounce. Part of the drop. Yep. A little bit less bounce. Control it as it comes down. We don't want it to be bouncing. Good. And it drops perfect. And we're ready to go. Okay. Watch your foot. Good. Notice her toes pointing up, but she's not bouncing it off her toe. It's coming off the laces. And that's perfect. It's right in front of her. It's up really high. And you can practice this almost wherever you are. Okay? That is out of the air with no bounce. Now we're going to move on to the smother. There's different ways to do this. Inside of our feet, outside of our feet. But again, it's bouncing first. And as it's bouncing, it's a timing. We're getting the control there. We have our foot perfectly down. It's going to spin right back to us where we want to. And we're going to be able to do whatever we want with the ball. So here we go with the smother. And this is all by yourself. Oh, we'll try again. That's why we're and here we go with the smother. Oh, a little much. We're trying to keep it in that box. Remember to try to keep it in that box. With your focus, try to keep the ball up in the air. And it's just about what you're doing. A little much, but that's the idea. It's a little, sometimes a little bit harder if you're throwing it to yourself. But it's all about rhythm. Good. It's very good outside of the foot. The spin was there and everything. It stayed in the box. A little bit much, that would have been a almost a 50-50 ball, and that's why we're practicing this. It's next level stuff. It's going to make you such a much better player. You can control the ball different ways, different parts of your foot. It's going to make you that much better of a player. And it's going to speed our gameplay up tremendously if you guys work on this at home. And when we get ready to come back to practice in a few weeks, we've got a fun little game we're going to do with this kind of stuff. So. Make sure you're working on this by yourself and perfect. And with
with uh, family members. Okay, notice the backspin. If you're doing it right, the little backspin is going to be right there. You're ready to go. Okay? Let's see it one more time. Yeah, good. And you're going to want to try to throw this up at different levels. Okay? Okay, so you learn how to control it, just like a punt sometimes to throw in. So we're going to learn the smother and the pancake. Alright? So keep this up. And we're going to see you in a couple of weeks to see how you're doing with it.